Hey there. Um, today's project is inspired by the Maasai people of a place called the Maasai Mara, which is located in Africa, in uh, Kenya, and Tanzania. Uh, the Maasai people are really well known for their uh, jewelry, which is has really intricate, tiny little beads um, that make it up. And uh, you probably will recognize it once you've seen um, one of their pieces of jewelry, especially their necklaces. Um, just a l some facts about uh, the Maasai people and their art making. Uh, the jewelry is made by the women of the tribe although it's worn by both men and women. Um, and all necklaces have like a specific meaning. So depending on the size and the pattern and the colors that are used in the necklaces, um, there may be different meaning attached to it. So it could tell about the person wearing it. Maybe it tells their status in the tribe. Um, it could relate to their age or their um, if they're married or not married. Um, so if you understand the patterns and the colors and some of the other things about the jewelry, it can also tell you about the person that's wearing it. Um, another reason that the jewelry is so important to this tribe is because they actually sell quite a bit of it and it's a good source of income for the tribe. For these Maasai necklaces, we're going to use a paper plate. but we're going to make some changes to it. So first thing you need to do is cut that circle out of the center of it. So you have to cut through the edge to the circle and then cut around. And this could be kind of tricky because the edge of the plate is curved and it's kind of a stiff material. So take your time cutting. Do the best cutting you can. Now it's time to write your name and your class on there somewhere. The extra circle that came out of the center of the plate, you're going to just trim off the edges until you have a rectangle. Make sure you recycle the extra paper that gets cut off. But now I've got a rectangle. And I'll put two staples in it. Now it's time to add some pattern and decoration. So you can use a crayon, any color. And remember, a pattern is something that repeats. So I'm doing a pattern of triangles. and circles. I'm not coloring anything in with the crayons yet, just drawing. Now it's time to paint. Remember you need to get your brush wet before you grab the paint from the tray. And then when it's time to change colors, you also need to wash your brush off in the water. So make sure you don't mix those colors up. So I'm painting all the triangles green. Only the triangles green. Now I'm going to wash my brush in the water. I'm going to take yellow. I'm going to paint the circles yellow.
then I'm going to wash my brush again in my cup of water, get red paint, and I'm going to paint that extra part red. When you're finished painting, get your work put on the drying rack.